The more is going to discuss the, the coins. coins, currency, right? No, first it's going to discuss the mission. Is going to discuss. It's going to say. Then the Gemara is going to try to understand it based on its own currency. And what was the currency of the Mishnah? The currency of the Mishnah, everyone knows, is five. Shkalim, the Torah says you have to give um, um, yeah, then the Torah says which means that one shekel is 20 geira, which ends up being a ma'a. Future generations, the geira ends up being a ma'a. In terms of coin, gera is like it seems to be back in that, back then. The gera was only a measurement of weight; it wasn't an actual coin until later on they made it into a ma of kesef. The gera of kesef was a certain amount of uh, weight. They made it into a coin also. So, but in, in the Torah, it was one shekel is twenty is twenty gera, and five times that is what you have to give to the coin. So the Mishnah says, "Chomet shalom shal ben It Has to be b'monetzur. It means five monetzuris. It's not. It's not the regular money. The, the regular money is, is uh, usually when the Torah, when the Gemara talks about money, it's a hundred zuz, which is which is um, twenty five shkal. Um, at least these type of shkal, meaning one money tsuri has four zuz. Four zuz. Usually money means a hundred. That, that's something that's a different type of money. This this money is talking about um, that has four zuz. Um, we're gonna, the Gemara is going to discuss the relationship between the Torah's Zuz and this Zuz. But basically, what we're going to see is that there's uh, that there are 24 Ma'as in this in this in the Manitou. In the Torah, there's 20 Ma'a. This is 24. So this is a little bit more. Okay, but either way, that's the Mishnah. Ben Whatever the Manitouri in the Mishnah's time, that's what uh, that that's how many you have to give. Five of those you have to give. It's the same thing. Shleishim shall have it. If if someone um, Kills an Evid, right? Kills an Evid, he's chayv to the master 30 zuz, uh, 30, um, 30 slime, chamishim shal aynes, aynes, someone uh, raped, a, raped a girl or mefata, and that the Torah says you have to give a knas of 50, meh shal mo'etzi shemra, and meh if the if, if guy is mo'etzi shemra, all barshas kitetz there, a person's mo'etzi shemra on his wife that she was in Mazana, kulam b'shekel ha'kodesh, all of them are b'shekel ha'kodesh, b'monetzuri, which is monetzuri, um, and all of them can be paid up, can be redeemed with, with uh, any type of kesef or shava kesef, any whatever it's worth. It doesn't have to be the actual coinage, chutz mishkol, except for shkolim, which means um, the machtas hashekel. Machtas hashekel that, that's given um, every year, right? So that, that had to be given in the actual machtas hashekel. The Gemara is going to explain why. Okay, so my monetsuri, adding the word my. The more wants to know so what's my what's monetsuri in terms of in terms of our currency today. So Amar Abasi Manashel Tsuri. Sis, what do you mean Manashel Tsuri? You mean the same exact thing, just like the Manashel Tsuri today, so to the Manashel Tsuri back then. Which means, uh, according to him, nothing changed. Um, and you have to give the exact monetsuri, which is where we're going to end up seeing the Gemara talks about um, that it's. Uh, there's four zuz, right? One mana is four zuz, which is, and each zuz is six ma'as, which is six times twenty-four, which means there are twenty-four ma'as, which, which end up being, it's going to be four ma'as more than the shekel akadish, the Torah shekel akadish. And the Gemara is going to end up saying that, that at, 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 at some point, the Chacham were Masakin, that you have to give a little bit more, you have to match the mana tzuri, because that was the regular currency of that day, and the mana tzuri uh, became bigger, you just have to give the mana tzuri. Instead of going back to the uh, um, going back to the the the, the Torah's, uh, um, going back to the Torah's measurements, which is five, which is five sixths, right? It's 20, 20 maws to twenty four maws, which is five sixths, right? So so the Torah is five. Really, according to the Torah, you give five sixths, only five sixths of the money right? Because it's twenty to twenty four. Um, the Masaka, no, you have to give, you have to give one more sixth, okay? Because the currency has changed. Um, Amr Abasi, he says the same Manish al Ami Omar, Dinra Arvo, he says you have to give um, each one of these, 
It's a dinner arva. You have to give. So this is the way Rashi learns at least that that um, an Arabian dinar is one sela. When the Mishnah says monetsuri, it doesn't mean the monetsuri of today. The monetsuri of today is way more, according to Rabbi Kwanja of Ami. You have to give a dinar arva. What's a dinar arva? Rashi explains that the ratio is seven to ten. Seven monetsuris of his day was ten mona arvi, which means that uh, which means. Um, which means that that um, Rab- Rabasi say if Rabami is saying like this, if Rabami is saying that you have to give five dinarim, he says dinar arva, right? Pashas is saying monetary. What's a monetary in the Mishnah? It's a dinar arva. It means you have to just like the Mishnah, you have to have five monetary, you have to give five dinar arvas, right? So that means you're giving only five Arabian dinars, right? So if if in seven if seven regular dinars is equal to ten Arabian dinars, right, and you have, you only have to give seven of the Arabian dinars, uh, you only have to, sorry, you have to give five of the Arabian dinars. That means it's much much less, right? Because because the monetary of their time, um, the monetary of their time, uh, a dinar was a quarter of the monetary, right? Because there are four dinars in one monetary, so a dinar is a quarter of the monetary. Right? And seven of those dinars is equal to ten of the Arabian dinars, which means which means that the Arabian dinars are cheaper, right? They're point seven less. Right? And still you only have to give five of those Arabian dinars as Yugansa Pidina Ben, right? Which means that it's it's much, much less. Some explain that, that, that that's not what Rabami meant. Rabami meant that that uh, don't go with the dinars of today, go with the dinars uh, don't go with the dinars of the monetary, go with the dinars of the RV. The Arabian dinars, which means, which means, uh, you'd, Abadir, you have to give, you'd have to give five money, but you'd have to give five money. But what type of money? The, the Arabian money also, which means you'd have to go four times the Arabian dinar, which will give you one one money, and then five times that for Pidin Abed, because five money for Pidin Abed. So that's a big machlek. Is exactly how the same Rabbi is saying, but it's a big enough kamina because according to Rashi's shot, it's really, really much, much smaller. Okay, so he says you measure it with the dinar of Umchaninoimer, Istria Sarsia. The coinage you have to use is a Istria Sarsia, which they basically explain it's a Rashi says it's old slime. It's the old slime. Sarsia they explain it to mean more it means like Syrian, that's what they used in Syria or something. So Istria Sarsia, the Mizdavna Tmanya Bidinra. Then you could buy eight of them with one dinar. You could buy eight of them. Eight of these old coins with one dinar suri, right? And five of those the So, um, now what type of dinar are we talking about? We're talking about a golden dinar, right? That's what Rashi explains. When it's tmanya bedinara, if you buy eight of them in a regular dinar, and if it would be a regular dinar, it would be much much less. But we're talking over here a, a golden dinar. A golden dinar. Like, well, until now we've been talking about silver coinage, but if you have a golden coinage, that's equal to 25, one golden, uh, one golden dinar is equal to 25 silver dinar. And so now 25 silver dinar is equal to um, how many slime, right? And there's, if there's four slime in, there's, sorry, there's four dinars in one cella, right? So that means that there's six times four there's, there's 24 dinars in six slime, right? And then, um, right? Six times four is 24. And if you have 24 dinarim, you have six slime. And then you have one more cella is 0.25, it's a quarter, right? So you have 6.25, you have six and a quarter slime in 25 dinar, right? And what he's saying is, is that, is that, so 6.25 of the regular slime will buy you, right, what are they going to buy you? They're going to buy you eight of these uh, old uh, slime yushan, right? One of those is a seller, I mean five of those, so you have to give to Pidina Ben, right? So basically he's saying, it's, it's, uh, if you take your 6.25 and divide it by eight, right, that's going to be one seller. Right, it's a six, with with twenty five with with one of the golden dinars, which is equal twenty five of the kesef uh, of the kesef dinars. Uh, if you divide that by eight, right, that'll get you one. That'll get you one golden dinar, which ends up being uh, six. I think it's also around points point seven. 
Because if you do 6.25... Yeah, approximately. Over here there was a mistake in the art scroll, and I searched and searched until I found the NUMA during the art scroll, and yeah. the, the, the math, and the, right? So it's 6.25 divided by 8, 0.78. Okay, not so bad. I don't know, it ends up being 0.78 of the, of the Monetsuri. So, Chomish Minah the Bidina Ben. Okay, that's the way he has it. Rabbi Yerichan and Omar, Dinora Hadraina Trina. It was some type of also a golden dinor, um, uh, which had which had uh, the kings uh, uh, stamped onto the coin. Had that's Hadraina and Trina. There's two different. There were two different kings. Uh, Adrianus, Adrianus Caesar and Trianus, uh, whatever. Okay, okay, different Caesars that that were Roman Caesars that were stamped onto the coins. Um, and Shaifa. I guess that's what Shaifa means. Shaifa means that it was. Uh, there was stamped on or something. Rashi, Rashi says Vishaifa means also Shemelach. So there are three kings stamped onto the coin. But I think some changed Rashi. But either way, um, this type of coin, this specific Hadrina Trina coin, uh, Hadrianus and Trianus uh, Roman coin, the Mizav Nebesim Chamisha Zuzi, that you can buy with 25 Zuzi, right, which, which you could buy with 25 regular Zuzi, silver, silver regular Zuzi, Dalmina Yishtusa. So now what do you do? You take away. A sixth, and they are for Pidina Ben, which means, which means he's saying, um, <laughs> we're going to see the Gemara is going to explain. Yechman holds that that the regular he holds really the regular Monetsuri, just like he holds like the first opinion. The, the regular Monetsuri is the same Monetsuri you have to pay up with. Now, so according to that, right. You, you only have to give 20, 20 regular um, zuzu. Why? Because each four zuz is one money, right? Times four is, times four is 20, uh, four zuz is equal to one money, right? Times five, for because five, five, five points are pidina ben, right? So it's 20. Right, so four, uh, four zoos times five, so according to twenty. But this one buys you twenty-five, right? You already get twenty-five. So now, ha now he's trying to say that if you have one of these dinner hadrinas, which is worth twenty-five coins, dalmina yishtusa, take away a sixth. The ben. Right, so now what's a uh, what's a sixth of twenty-five? Means so you, uh, you only give five sixths of twenty-five. So which which uh, which gives you it means if you take away a sixth, you're basically saying take away. Four, right? Four and one sixth. Take away four and one sixth, which is so. So now you're still left with more. It's twenty plus. And you didn't take. You left with twenty and twenty-five sixths, right? So it asks the Gemara, "Ani esrin v'chad." That's twenty-one. Nechidanka, right? It's twenty-one minus a sixth, and according to Rechem, it should really be twenty. El um, Gemara says, "Dal shtusa v'zuzo." Take away one and a sixth, right? So it says the Gemara, okay, so then, whatever is left is for Pidina Ben. It's like, you just took away one, right? Instead of having 21 and 5, 6, uh, um, instead of, sorry, instead of having 20 and 5, 6, you have 19 and 5, 6. Now you're missing a sixth. Alec Gemara says, Dal Zuza, take away a Zuz, which means, take away a Zuz, which means now you're left at 24. And then you take away a sixth, and, and first a Zuza, then a Shtusa. Then you take away six, which is four, and then you're left with twenty. So first you first you knock off one, makes you twenty-four. Take off a six, then you're left with twenty. Because they are twenty twenty weights of the the weights of a dinner. The inon esrin which they are. Um, twenty eight zuzi upalgi upalgadanka. Um, it's 20, 28 and a half, and then another half of a sixth. Dunk is a sixth. Right, well, what's he saying? Oh, in the, he's talking about in the dinner Arvoya. He's talking about, and Rashi, Rashi explains that this is 28 and a half in the dinner Arvoya. Because we said that the dinner, the, the Arabian dinarim are, are um, the Arabian dinarim are 7 to 10. Right, which means that that according to him, if you need, if you need to have, um, in the Tzuri, right? 
In Rashi says the Inun Esur Utman Yipal Goyim Bedinor Arvoya. The Dinor it's Rishon Shiva. The next one, yeah. Right. And Shiva, a Shiva. Seven of them make ten Dinor Arvoyas, which means that um, if we have twenty, if we have we have twenty Dinorim, we have twenty re, twenty regular Dinor. Right. We have in order according to Rabbi you need twenty regular Dinorim for Bedinor Ben. Right now, tw- ten regular Dinorim. Sorry, seven regular dinarim make ten Arabian dinarim, right? So it's so seven tenths of a regular dinar equal an Arabian equal one Arabian dinar, right? Seven tenths of one seven tenths of one regular dinar is an Arabian dinar. Now, so ha- you want to know how many regular dinarim equal how, tw- twenty regular dinarim, right? How many does that equal? In Arabian, in Arabian dinar, so that, huh? And so ten of them, right? T- uh, seven, seven equals seven equals ten, right? So fourteen equals equals twenty. It's it's fourteen divided by seven tens, but then you got to change it over when you do it with a fraction and you're dividing, so you got to change invert the fraction. It becomes ten sevens. Ten sevens ten s- times fourteen is twenty. Right, right, okay, no, but we need for 20, right? So you need to do 20, you need 20, because, because there are 20 regular dinar, right? right? So you need 20 divided by 0. 0.7, right? 20 divided by 0. 0.7 is 28.5. It's, it's, we, we have 20 regular dinar. 20 regular dinar, we want to transfer into Arabian dinar. 7 of them equals 10. 14 of them, right? 14 of them equals 20, right? Now you have 6 left. Right. So, how much is six? Uh, how much is six regular dinarim? How much is that equal to in 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 uh, Arabian dinarim? Right. Seven is equal to ten. But how much is six equals to? So seven to ten, and six is to what? Right. So therefore, you do six divided by 0.7 and you get you get point five seven one four. Right. And that's the chesed over here. The is saying you have twenty eight um, zuzi upalgi and a half upalgo danka, and then you have a half of a sixth. Half of a sixth is a twelve. Right, and basically, if you do the cheshbon, it's really not a half of a six; it's really one fourteenth. That's what comes out. But 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 since the only coin they had was a pundion, which was one twelfth, so they just used the pundion. That's one twelfth. That's what that's what this long Rashi is explaining. Okay, either way, he's he's giving you the same cheshbon how it works out in the Arabian dinar. I guess that was that was around, so they had to use it. Okay. Amar Rava. Silim do raisa. The sela of the Torah is plusa v'tilta have. It's really three and a third. Dixiv esrim geirash okel. It says only twenty geirash. Um targum minan esrim mine. And the targum says twenty mine. Vitanya. And we have a brayzer that says the chesh mel kesef. The ma kesef of the mishnah. Right. The the brayzer says about the mishnah that six mine kesef is one dinar, which means that one dinar is equal. One dinar is equal to six mal kesef, which means that one shekel, which is four dinar, is equal to twenty four maz. Right, but the Torah says it's only twenty maz. Right, so therefore he says it's only three and a third. Right, because we have here we have. Um, um, uh, four. Uh, you have six. Uh, uh, ten ma. Ten gera is equal really to. Um, ten ma is the regular thing, and you added four more. Right, you added four more um, into the new monetsuri. You added four more, and therefore it's really it's only three and a third. Why? Because um, in the regular in the monetsuri, each dinar is six. Right, each dinar is six. Now you're taking only three of them because six times three is eighteen. So that's right. So you're taking only three dinars because it's eighteen, and then and then how many is left? Another six. But you only want two of those sixes because you don't want twenty-four. You want twenty. Right, so it's two out of six, which is one third. Right, so you have three dinars and a third of a dinar equals the Doraisa de Casella. The Dorabana de Casella, the, the monetary of their day, was twenty-four, which is which is um, which is two thirds more, uh, two thirds more of one cell of, of one dinar. So, so um, so that's what Rav is saying. It's only three and a third of today's regular dinar. Okay. Sorry, three three and a third of today's regular cell. Maisi vei, in fact, the Gemara of Alei Sela Shal Kodesh, Arboim Ushmoine Pundyoin, 
The Sela of Kaidish was 48 Pundya. Says the Gemara. Um, sorry, so, so uh, 48 Pundya, and Pundya in Zem Ativoy. And the Gemara asks. It, it's the same continuation of the Brysa. Basically, um, the Surgi over there is in Steachuza, where you divide. Uh, the Torah says that the Steachuza is worth 50 shekel kesef. Meaning, if, if you're Makdash, your Steachuza, you have to be paid it with 50 shekel kesef. And then the way it works is for every year until Yavel, you, you, you detract, you detract a, uh, a, a, what, this means when you're being Makdash, it really you're saying until Yavel. So, which means if, if it's worth 50 shekel kesef, each year is worth. Um, uh, one f- part of that fifty shekel kesef, and, and they're only they're forty nine years of yovel, right? So you do the fifty shekel kesef divided by forty nine. So um, each year would have one, right? Then you're left with one. You have to divide one shekel by forty nine. Um, So says, and, and that's why the uh, that's why the mission is asking why you why are you dividing by forty eight? Oh, uh, sorry. Why why you why are you? My targumina esrin moin v'tanya shisha sheish me'ar kesef. You know, uh, sorry. Meisavei v'alei sel shel kodesh abayim shmoni pundyoyin. It's only forty eight pundyoyins, right? And you required, and, and the mission previously required one cell and one pundyoyin per year, which which gives you one extra pundyoyin, right? Because because uh, forty eight. The, and as the Mishnah is saying, one cell of Kaidish is 48 pundyons. 48 pundyons, um, so, you, so, so 50 shekel, right? 50 shekel, which is the amount, is 49 shkalim plus 48 pundyons. 50 shekels, right, is 49 shkalim plus, plus 48 pundyons. And, and the, the Mishnah said you have, to give, you have to give one shekel plus a pundyon for every year. So one shekel. T- uh, so you have you have forty nine pundyons. Why do you have to give that extra pundyon? Why is that last year have also a pundyon? So the Gemara so basu the pundyon zemativa kilban the protrait. So the different shot and what this means, but but basically the simple shot is that is that um, you have to give your fee to the shulchani. The shulchani uh, he has to deal with all your coinage and whatever. So therefore you have to give give him that extra kilban because he's dealing with all your with, with all the, the exchanging the, the change. So. Um, Either way, um, <coughs> so either way, sheish mel kesef. And we see here from the fact that it's forty-eight pundyoins. See that it's. You see that it's. You see that. Since we're dealing with the shekel akodesh, so shekel akodesh equal to forty-eight pundyoins. What's the problem? Forty-eight. That that um, that one pundyoin. One ma'a, one ma'a is two pundyons. That's what Rashi says. One ma'a is two pundyons, which means that that six ma'as, which is one dinner, is twelve pundyons. Right? One ma'a is two pundyons, which means that six ma'a and one dinner, you have twelve pundyons. And in four dinners, you have forty-eight pundyons. Right? Which means what, you, what you're telling me here is, is that there are twenty-four ma'as. Right? There are twenty-four ma'as in in the Shekel HaKadosh. Right? If, if you're going with the original Cheshman of 20 Geira, only 20 Ma'a, right, then you would have 40 Pundyans, because a, four, a Pundyan is double Ma'a, is double the Ma'a, right? And now you're telling me they're 48. Right? And it's because, because the Ma'a is double, uh, because the Pundyan is double the Ma'a, and you're telling me that there are 48 Pundyans, that means that your starting point is 24 Ma'as for a Shekel. The Torah says 20, right? So why are you, Rava, telling me that there are only 20? Array, um, array, and, and then the Brisa coming and saying that Midoraisa, it's 48 Pundyans per Shekel, which, is tw- which, which, which would translate into 24 Ma'as. So yeah, you see, even Midor- when we're dealing with the Raisa things, we're dealing with 24. Right? So basically, Rav Rava Lachar has a good point, because it says Esrim Geira. However, the Mishnah seems to be dealing with the Rais of the Kishkolim and saying that, that it's equal to 48 Pundyanim, which would mean that it's, it's 24 and not 20. So the Gemara, Basar Doi Sufi Olayu, once they added on to the Manitsuri, once the, the coin actually got bigger, the contemporary coin of that time, which was made in Tsar, which whatever, that, that was, I guess, the regular money they, they used, 
what, that got bigger. So once it got bigger, so then they decided we're going to use the bigger coins and we're going to deal with the Manetsuri, which is worth 24, which, which is worth 24 ma'az, and, and that's it. And that's why it became bigger. The Tanya, Esrim Gera Shekel. The Torah says Esrim Gera Shekel is by Machtas Shekel. Esrim Gera Shekel. Madnu the Shekel Shur Esrim Gera. You learned the Shekel is equal to 20 Gera. Uminayim Shemratz Eloitz of Yosef. How do you know that if you want to add, you can add to it? Meaning, not that you could add. Hashir lo yabri v'adal lo yamit. The pasuk says, right? No one can give more in the Machtas Shekel. But it means that if you want to make the coin bigger, Chacham want to make the coin bigger. How do you know you can make it bigger? Tamalomer Yihiyah. Uh, however you make it, uh, it'll be. Yochel Yifchais, however, maybe you think if it goes smaller, you can make it even smaller. Tamlomer who? No, it has to remain at least that. There's, there's a minimum. Okay? Rabashi Shadal Leshiv Sar Zuzi Lerabach. Rabashi sent 17 Zuz to Rabach. Rabbi Yishmano. Rabbi Yishmano. Rabbi Yishmano. And he said, Sholach Lei Lishtali Mark Lasa Yiserta. Give me back. Um, Tilsa Yiserta. Give me back the, the third that was left. Why? Because he held, he held that, he, he didn't know that you go by the new shark. He says, Asum Gero Yashakal. Right? It says, Asum Gero Yashakal. And therefore, he said, um, I'm going to send you 16 dinars. Right? 16, um, right? Because the dinar, each dinar is six. Right? Now he's trying to get, how's he, how much is he trying to get? He's trying to get to 20 geras times five, because Bajina Ben has five coins, right? So he needs a hundred, he needs a hundred coins. He needs a hundred geras. So therefore, what did he do? He sent, he sent, he sent, right? He sent uh, 16. Okay, we'll be mom should have The more said the Rabashi showed the shifts or zuz the Rabacha Bridge Rabin. He sent 17 zuz. Now his Khajim was is that he went with the Torah. The Torah says Esrim Gera Ya Shekel. Right? So you only have to send 20 Gera per shekel. Five shekels. Right? So I have to send 100, 100 Geras. 100 Geras, which is which is 100 Ma'as. Right? So he says, How much do I need to do? And this newfangled coin that has 24 Geras, what do I do? So he says, I send, I send, um, says, I'll send 16. Oh, sorry, 17. Why? Because 17 has 17 times 17 dinarim, and each one of the dinarim have 6, uh, six ma's, right? So 17 times 6 is 102. And how much does he want to give? He wants to give 100, right? Because he's 20 times 5 is 100. It's 20 gera times 5 shkollim. He has to give him the rice, he has to give 100 shkolims. He says, I have to give 100 shkolims. I'll send you 17 zuz, which is 102 years, and you send me back the change. The change is 2 out of 6, right? Two, there's 102, uh, so which means it means you send me back a third. Send me back a third of a zuz. So then he tells him back, right? Um, right? So, so, Rabashi Shadli ships are zuzi, 17 zuz, the Rachabra, the Ravina, the Pitina Ben. For Pidyan Ben Shalachle, he sent him back. Lishto Limar Tlasa Yiserta. Tlasa Yiserta. Send me back the extra third. Vediki um, Luya. Shalachle, uh, so he sent him back. Lishto Limar Tlasa Achrina. No, you have to send me another three zuz. He only sent me seventeen zuz, right? And really, you have to give me twenty zuz, because he held, and he held that since. Um, the Sufi Luya that they added, and the Chachamim added to the Shir, and the Chachamim said you have to give today's Zuz. Right? You have to give, you have to, you have to give based on today's Shkalim, right? Today's Shkalim, which are which are four dinars, right? So you have to give four dinars times five for Pidin You have to give me twenty Zuzim, and you sent only seventeen. So I'm not giving you any change. You send me another three, and then and then you'll be Yitzha. okay? Because uh, and so he held he held like what we said before that they were Ma'asif, so you have to give um, the new Shir, okay? Amar of Chanina. Says Rukhin, call Kesef our Matar. Anytime the Torah says Kesef Stam Sela, it's talking about a Sela. We just says Kesef Stam, right? It's talking about a Sela. The Nevim is talking about a Litrin. Whenever the Nevim talk about Kesef, it's talking about a Litrin, which is 25 Sela. Um, which is 25 Sela. Um, and that's the money that we're always talking about. The money the Torah talks about, which is which is 100 Zuz because it's 25 Sela. Either, either way, Litrin is, is talking about 25 Sela. Um, the Ksuvim, anytime the Ksuvim talk about a Kesef, it's talking about Kintrin. Kintrin, which is Rashi says, is 100 Zuz. It's, sorry, it's 100 Shekel. It says 100 times what the Torah was talking about. Okay. Chutz min Ephron. Except for, the only, the only exception in the Torah is by Ephron. Because Ephron, by Ephron, it's Avabish Gazbatar Stam. Even though it says Kesef over there, 
uh, it means kintrin. Because what he said over there, what he told um, uh, Ephraim told Avram that, that that I want I want any place where they call a shekel, I need to be able to give them that. Which means that in some places, they, even back then, uh, they called uh, they called the kintrin a shekel in some places, and therefore he had to give the biggest shekel. The biggest shekel was a kintrin, which was a hundred of the regular shekel. So he had to give him a hundred times four hundred, really. So. So uh, and that's what over the circle means. It means that you can give it to any merchant, right, as a shekel, and therefore ikaduchti the kakar the kintra tikla. There were, even then there were places where they called the kintra the tikla, and therefore uh, a tikla is a shekel. They called a shekel a kintar, which is a hundred times regular. Therefore you have to give him four hundred times regular. But other than that, every time in the Torah, it just means a regular shekel. Okay, Amr Rabbi Yishia. Bikshul Nigna is called Kesef Zav Shabbatim. They wanted to 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 bury all the Kesef Zav Shabbatim. They cast the Zav Shabbatim because of the silver and gold of Yerushalayim. What happened was is that when the when the when the Romans came to the base of Migdash and they um, uh, they, they looted all the money in the all the hectic money, right? So now the hectic money is mixed up everywhere. They took it out and they spent it whatever, they mixed it up all around. And now you can't use the money because it's hectic, it's made ilo. So therefore they said, oh maybe you can't use Kesav and Zav anymore. It says the Gmara Achimatsu until they found a, a Pasim Natar Shu Mutlah we learned from the Pasuk in Nichas, Ulbo, but Pritim, the Chililuha. The scavengers came and, and they were Mechalalev, which we learned from there that it means that it lost the Kedusha. They were Mechalalev, meaning it became Chulim. Right? So now, so there's no problem with Me'il. So therefore, you could use the money, even though it might have come from the base of Me'il. So like, you shall I'm have Yeruba Da'alma, as you shall I'm Rav. Why don't you just say that if you have a coin, you don't have to assume, Halacha Chara Rav. Came from Rav of the world, didn't come from Rav. Uh, why do I have to be Chosh? You came from Yerushalayim. So the Gemara, Allah Amr Abayi, Bikshu Ligna is not. It doesn't mean regular Kesef Azov. Bikshu Ligna is Dinra the Hadrina, specific Dinorim that we said before, the Hadrianus and Triana, Hadrina and Triana Shafa, the one that had the, the, the picture of these two coins stamped on them, right? So those specific ones, those we know that most of those coins were made specifically from the from the hectish coins in the base of Migdash. They stole the coins in the base of Migdash by the Khorban and they made it into these coins. Now you see one of these coins, you know it's from Yerushalayim, right? So if it's from Hetz, it's from Hectish. So the Gemara, uh, right? So Bikshu Ligna is those specific coins. We pray Tiva Shel Yerushalayim because it came from Yerushalayim, because the coinage came from Yerushalayim. Um, until they found the Pasuk in Yechezkel, Shu Muto Shinam or Boba Pritzim Meaning, so from that Pasuk we learned that even though we know that most of these coins came from Hector, still it was Mutter, because the Pasuk in Yechezkel teaches us that it's Mechul, it's considered Chul. Okay, Amr Biyudim Arab, Asi, Kol Kesef Amr Batar Rastam Kesef Tzuri. Anytime the Torah says Kesef Stam, it's talking about Kesef Tzuri. The Kesef Tzuri we discussed, and that was the Kesef Tzuri back then, and then in the time of the Mishnah, the Kesef Tzuri. Uh, grew and uh, became bigger, but uh, but either way, the Torah is also talking about kesef tzuri, and that's the currency the Torah is dealing with. The shaldivrim. Anytime the chachamim use a, a, um, a value of money, they're talking about the currency. Talking about kesef medina, which the Gemara is explaining is one eighth. It's really one eighth. The kesef medina was was uh, was, uh, was other metals mixed in with only one eighth of the regular kesef tzuri. Okay, so it's one eighth in value. Uklalu says the Gemara is this a klal? Is this a true klal that all the kesef talking kesef tzuri very taina? Tano means the uh, Maidu makes us a Taino. The Torah says that when you, if a guy is Taivea money from someone and he says, uh, oh, you have, whatever. Maidu be miktas chayv shvur, right? Haritano, that's Maidu be miktas a Taino. Tixim ki yitani shorei u kesef for kelem lishmod. The way the Torah explains the case of Maidu be miktas is through a shomer. If someone gives kesef for kelem lishmor and then it was stolen and he says, I took some, I didn't take some, right? Is it? So that's the case of Maidu be miktas. So you learn from there kesef, right? That if a guy denies Kesef and he says, oh, no, this is only this is the amount, only 50 Kesef, not a, you, you're claiming 100, no, I'm to be mixed, that's only 50, right? So it's none, and it says, Shavuah um, Sadayonim, the Shavuah that you may have someone for Moed to be mixed, uh, Shtei Kesef, that's Shtei Kesef. Um, now, Shtei Kesef is uh, right, the Shittim Gretzis explains, it says Shtei Kesef. What's Shtei Kesef? It means two Ma'as, right? And a Ma'a, uh, why? Because if it, if it means a dinar, it's Shtei Shnei Kesef, or Lashon Zachar, right? Why does it say Shtei Kesef? It must be talking about a Ma'a, right? Now a Ma'a doesn't, there is no Ma'a in Kesef Tzur. Right? Uh, Rashi, Rashi and Daisis both explain that the lowest currency of dinar, the lowest 
currency of the of the tire of the of the, the, tsu, the tsuri money tsuri currency the lowest thing was a dinar there was no ma so much later there was a ma but at the time of the Torah there was no ma the lowest one was a dinar and you're telling me over here that the, that the, the lowest uh, amount a person is made to be mixed us in order to be right in order to make a swear to, to make a shvua if it's less than two kesef there's no way to be mixed us it doesn't count you don't make a shvua only if it's two kesef and above right now what's two kesef two ma's right right and and so now you're telling me that because it says in the Torah kesef it means even less than a dinner you know Rubasi said that all the Torah that well, all the kesef that says in the Torah is, is tsuri and now you're telling me no the Torah is talking about something which is less than kesef tsuri even right the Torah says kesef it got, it's got to be referring to at least the lowest um, so at most, and, uh, no, at least, at least the lowest currency of Tsuri, right? Because we're dealing with only Kesef Tsuri. Don't bring me a currency from somewhere else, right? We're, the Torah is only talking about with Kesef Tsuri, and therefore the lowest, we can only talk about the lowest one. Now you're going to a Ma'a that didn't exist in Kesef Tsuri, right? So how could it be? That's the Kash. As you see here, that the, even when the Torah says Kesef, the Sugi of Moedib Mikdash, and make a Shavuah for Kesef, right? It's talking about even less than Adina. Even less than the Kesef too. Says the Gemara, Shani Hasam, that over there is different. You see, Kesef Akelim. The Torah says Kesef Akelim, Ma Kelim Shnayim, just like Kelim could be two, any two, I guess, any any two Kelim, Av Kesef Shnayim, so two Kesef is even two, even any any type of Kesef. So, and uh, we have a specific Reboy to teach me over there that could be even including lower money. Well, Ma Kesef Zabra Choshev, just like Kesef Zabra Choshev, means it's, it's worth its value. Av Kelim Zabra Choshev, so two Kelim, they have to be something Zabra Choshev. And therefore, from there you learn. Um, therefore, you learn that uh, that over there the kesef doesn't have to be a dinar, can be less than a dinar and a kli. In order, in, in order to be chayav a shvur for ma'ayim mikdash, has to be something chashuv. Okay. Very ma'aser dixiva. Next question says more. Ma'aser says it's hard to talk kesef. The other says the word kesef, which means that's the chayav talking about according to Rabbi. He's talking about kesef tzuri, right? What's ma'aser sheni? Ma'aser sheni is when you take your, your produce, you have to bring it to Yerushalayim to eat it. If you don't want to eat in Yerushalayim, you put it onto money. You take that money, spend it in Yerushalayim, right? So I talk kesef beyotol, then you take the money to Yerushalayim. Which none, it says a parat If you want to exchange, and it's basically you have a lot of prutos, right? Of ma'aser sheni, you took your you took your produce of ma'aser sheni, you put it on prutos, and then you want to bring it to Yerushalayim. Now you don't have to carry sacks of coins. What do you do? You take all your prutos and you you transfer it onto seller. You say. These amount of prutus, the kedusha should go into the cell. I only have to bring the big, coin, right? Hundred dollar bill instead of bringing pennies, right? So, but so ha pirate cell, the meister sheni, right? That, that's the that's what the mishnah is talking about. A guy who's pirate the cell of the moist meister sheni, or take out the word moist. But either way, the point is the guy has prutus. He has prutus. You see that you could be mechal meister sheni on prutus. Even though the Torah talks about kesef, Torah says kesef, right? And still you mechalav on prutis. Prutis is not a currency that's from kesef tzuri. That's much less than any lowest currency of a uh, lowest type of uh, kesef tzuri. So, so how could it be? How could kesef mean that? How could kesef mean that you could be mechal, that you could be paid the meister sheni on a pruta? So it's more kesef kesef ribi, right? It's kesef twice, so that's marbe even smaller kesef. Says you very hekdish to even also a kesef a kamloy. It says also when you marich kesef when you when you evaluate hekdish. It's with kesef. Gomer Shmuel and Shmuel says hektish shav emone. If you have hektish, that's worth a money. Shechil la shav pruta that you redeem it on a shav pruta. Basically, Shmuel's chiddush is that if you rip off hektish, it still works. Regularly, if you rip off, if I sell you something at a crazy price, so that it's I know it does it depending on how much I rip you off, but. But either way, it's, it's considered I know. We learn out that it says Al Tanu Ishus Achiv only Achiv. But if you if you rip off Hekdish, it works, right? So, so Shmuel is saying the same thing would be true. And if you if you if you mechalel, if you have a lot of uh, something that's very valuable in Hekdish, you mechalel on Shavu Pruta. Basically, what you did was you ripped off Hekdish, right? You, you sold them something that's worth a lot for very little, right? So, um, so you took your Hekdish and you mechalel on Shavu Pruta. What do you mean? It says Kesef in the Torah, right? A pruta, again, a pruta is not kesef tzuri, a pruta is a, a, a much lower value. Huh? It's the chayish, it's not, it's not even silver, oh, so it's nothing. So you can't, uh, if it says kesef, how could you use a, how could you use a pruta for, for hektish? Um, says the Gemara, hektish nami, yolif kardish kardish mi maiser. We learn kardish kardish from maiser, zikzer shav, just like my maiser works, like we said, because it says twice kesef, is a ribu, so too by, by hektish. Says the Gemara, very kedusha isha, by kedusha isha, dixiv yasa, chani pechino main kesef. From the pasuk of Yotzei Chinamim Kasef, we learn now that there is. Um, we learn now from Yotzei Chinamim Kasef that in Kasef Lo Den Zayish Kasef Lo Den Acher, basically there's no money to to if a father sells her to a master, 
and then she leaves, she could leave without money. Right, to, to, but but uh, by kiddushin avada, if the if the husband if the father is mekadesh to somebody, there's money. He gets money for kiddushin. Either way, kesef kiddushin is learned from this pasuk also. We have the ein kosef, right? So it says the word kesef, and still there's a machloek. It's not b'shamay. We have dinor or dinor. B'shamay say to be mekadesh and isha, you need a dinor or a shavad dinor. But it's not a shavad pruta. Again, so you see here, but still holds. Even though it says kesef and kiddushin kesef. Right, Kedushin is with Kesef, Midoraisa, the word Kesef teaches, teaches you that it has to be Kesef, and still you can use a Pruta. And again, same Kasha, how does Basila say you can use a Pruta if Kesef means Kesef Tzuri? Pruta is not in Kesef Tzuri. So the Gemara, Lema Rabasi, Dermak and Bashama, do you mean Rabasi is holding like Bashama, who says it has to be a Dinor, and that is Kesef Tzuri? Ella says, Gemara, Eat Marachi, Eat Marachi, Eat Marachi, Eat Marachi, if, if, this is what Rabasi, this is what Rabasi was saying. Call Kesef Kotsuv, Omer Batoira, any Kesef Kotsuv, not every time it says Kesef. Any time he says kesef, a specific amount of money, like chamishim shekel, five shekel, a hundred shekel, whenever the Torah gives you a number with the kesef, that's talking about kesef tzur. Vishal devreim, kesef medina, and then any time midrabanan they give you kesef, it means kesef medina. Mike um, Mashmalan says, well, what's the chiddush? Tanina, we have a mishnah, and if that's the only chiddush that we're talking about, uh, every time there's kotsuv, every time there's a specific amount of kesef, so then, so then Tanina, we have a we have a mishnah, and our mishnah says chamesh lam shel ben, and then v'chulei, it's a right v'chulei, it, it says chamishim of oynes and thirty of avodim, it's all kesef tzuri. Meaning uh, the mishnah teaches that. So what's Rabbi teaching? He says the Gemara shall the ram kesef medina shirichal. He's teaching me the, the last clause that midrabanan, uh, the drabanan dika coinage is kesef medina. The uh, Tanan, like we have an example in the Mishnah, to kill Chaver, nice and to kill Chaver. Someone hits his friend in the ear, he punches him, nice and like Sela. He has to give him a Sela. Don't say it's the real Doraisa Sela of four times uh, one zuzi, four zuzi. It's one eighth, so it's half a zuzi. The Karo Inter says that it's Zuzi Sela Pagad Zuzi because people call a Sela Pagad Zuzi. Why is that? Because the Karo Inter says that it's Zuzi because people call a Sela Pagad Zuzi. Which means that means the Kesef Medina, which you said is an eighth of the regular regular Doraisa. So instead of giving one real Sela, you give only um, half a zuz, which is an eighth of a cell. Chanan Bisha, the Gemara says the story here. The Chanan Bisha was a bad guy. His name Chanan was a bad guy. Talkalei la hugarvi, he punched the he punched the guy. Also came the Ravuna. They came in front of Ravuna. I took him to Bezdin. I'm really happy. Pagazuzah, give him half a zuz, right? You have to give him half a zuz, and that's the amount of uh, uh, that's the amount you have to pay for punching your friend. So so he had havalei zuzah. He had a zuzah. That was macha. That was uh, you couldn't you couldn't get. He told me have to pay half a zuz, right? But he, he couldn't get change for it because it was it was uh, it was worn out and no no one saw the you couldn't see the stamp anymore. It was a worn out coin, so no one took it. It's not who said it's legitimate. It's very hard to get change for that. So what did he do? Um, right, right. He had he had so he had a worn out zuz the bahadei the loy nafik that he couldn't get change out. So Tokal Yachrinas, so he gave him another punch. He's chayiv him two zuz, and then if you have any other, and he gave it to him. So therefore, he was able to. He said, now you have to deal with this with this zuz. Okay, I'll stop here.